Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Greg Nibbler. This week, we're teaming up with iRobot to show you the latest and greatest advancements in robot technology, as well as some highlights of National Robotics Week that just wrapped this past Friday. Today, we're looking at soft robots and why researchers at MIT think they will soon be everywhere. Also, Samsung teases another new smartphone, and Amazon really is serious about drone delivery. MIT is one of the world's top research universities when it comes to robotics, so it's no surprise that researchers there have completely rethought how a robot can move. They've developed what they're calling a soft robot. Instead of using mechanical arms, hinges, and motors, this fish-like robot moves around by releasing compressed CO2 into a pair of chambers in its tail. It's a lot like blowing up a pair of balloons. By rapidly inflating and deflating the two chambers in the tail, the robot is able to swim around just like a fish. All of the brains are housed in the front of the robot, making it completely autonomous. A huge benefit of this new propulsion system is the ability to make rapid and precise movements. With the fish, it's able to avoid hazards quickly, and having a soft outer body solves another problem facing robotic designers, bumping into things. Hard robots need to move slowly to not damage the stuff they bump into, but this soft robot can easily bounce off of walls with no damage, allowing it to operate more efficiently. So it just might be that robots in the future will have soft human-like skins and compressed air pumping through their veins. Samsung's shiny new Galaxy S5 may have only just gone on sale, but the prolific manufacturer isn't about to take a well-earned rest. Instead, it will be revealing yet another new smartphone on April 29th. So what's it going to show off? It could be a camera-centric spin-off to the Galaxy S5 called the K-Zoom or the Galaxy K. Regardless, we're assuming it's going to be K-something after reading the announcement invite where Samsung spells capture with a K. Early leaks say we can expect the phone to have a massive 20 megapixel camera with a 10 times optical zoom all wrapped up in a thin curvy body. We're excited about this one and we'll bring you everything you need to know about it at the end of the month. Apparently, Amazon is really serious about delivering goods to you using drones. In a letter to shareholders, CEO Jeff Bezos revealed the Prime Air project is already testing the fifth and sixth generation flying machines, while the seventh and eighth generation models are in the early stages of design. The idea of Amazon making drone deliveries first buzzed overhead last year, but at the time, it was viewed more as a publicity stunt than a business plan. This may no longer be the case, but don't expect Prime Air to be a delivery option very soon. Aside from having to get the hardware working, they'll also need to convince the FAA this is a safe idea, and that'll probably take some time. But Amazon expects drone deliveries to be up and flying in five years' time. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.